we are afraid of hell. In fact, we pray for deliverance from the fires of hell. But let us revisit our Catholic understanding of hell. And I invite you to relook at hell as a gift of love from God. How is hell a gift of love from our loving God? God wants us to Himself, holy, pious, obedient, humble, loving. And God has promised us heaven by our faithful discipleship, by our living for Him, by our offering everything for the service of our brothers and sisters. But God also knows that temptation can be strong. God also knows that we are victims of our own original sin that we have an inborn defect to save ourselves and to resist temptation. So, if the motivation for heaven is not sufficient for you to be good, God, out of love, created hell so that because of your fear of hell, you will do good. And in doing good, see Him face to face in heaven. What is hell? Hell is that f desire to be distant from God, to be far away from God. You know that God exists, but you want to be far away from Him, and you don't like Him to have anything to do with your life. That is hell. And we profess it, that God died and He went to hell. He descended into hell and on the third day rose again. What does it really mean when we say Christ descended into hell? The general understanding is after the sin of our first parents, the gates of heaven were shut down and uh, people suffered in a place of uncertainty, in a place of purification, in a place that is called hell, a place of darkness, a place of suffering, a place wanting something more beautiful to happen. So according to our general understanding is in the three days that God remained dead after Good Friday, the Lord went down to hell, opened the gates of hell, and lifted up souls in hell so that they will be uh, recipients of the merits of His Paschal mystery, His resurrection. That is a general understanding. But I'd like to invite you to revisit our understanding of hell. Because uh, have you encountered that little stampita, that painting of Jesus knocking at the door and there is no doorknob? And uh, the interpretation of our religion teacher is the door opens from the inside and you have to open it to allow Jesus to enter into your life. When I first saw that, I felt challenged to keep my door open. But as I grew up in years, as a seminarian, as a priest, and as a bishop, fear also crossed my mind because I said to myself, what if I am inside that house? but I am too paralyzed by my fears, but I am too sick to come up and stand up to allow Him to enter. What if I am so depressed, I am so discouraged, that I do not have the 
energy to stand and open the door or even to extend my hand to open the door. Does that mean that I will be left in misery forever because I cannot open the door from inside? And as I read the Gospels, I see that that is not what the Gospel tells us. Because when the disciples, when the apostles were hiding in fear behind locked doors, what did the Lord do? The Lord entered through that locked door and said to those living in darkness, like the darkness of hell, to the apostles who were afraid, to the apostles who were unable to open the door from inside, the Lord said to all of them, Peace be with you. And I want to be in that room. That room that is locked. That room that I cannot open from inside anymore. Because I am paralyzed. I am discouraged. I am confused. I am skeptical. I am unbelieving. I am cynical. And I have no strength anymore to stand up. I have no strength anymore to walk towards the door. I have no strength anymore to even stretch out my hand to touch the lock of the door from inside. It is so consoling that the gospel said, the Lord went through the locked door and wished the disciples who were practically living in their own hell and said to them, Peace be with you. God created hell out of love so that we, out of fear of going there, will be delivered from our own temptations and we may have peace. I invite you to ask yourself, what hell of discouragement, what hell of confusion, what hell of fear, what paralyzing fear are you in right now? And believe me, even if you cannot stand anymore to open the door from inside, God will not allow that locked door to become an obstacle. He will enter through the locked door and He will give you His greeting, peace. And as I end this meditation, let me echo the words of Jesus for you. For you who live in darkness, in the darkness of the hell of confusion, of discouragement, of depression, of doubt. Peace be with you. The locked door will not be sufficient. The locked door will not stop the Lord from loving you. He has descended into hell to save those asking for salvation. He will enter through your locked door even if you have locked yourself in for only one reason. He loves you and He wants His peace to be yours.